So here is my Epson 9300 unboxing. Uh, I've sped it up a little bit because it's actually a boring unboxing other than a 4K e-shift projector inside. But um, other than that, it's just like some $2 cables that have been uh, thrown in. It looks a lot better than the previous model, um, the 9200. I also love how uh, the inputs are like hidden in like a cavity. Um, helps to protect the terminals and also allows for the projector to get closer to the back wall when you're mounting so you can get a bigger projected image. Another thing I like about it is the lamps only cost 150 bucks or there so um, compared to like the JVC and Sony's that are upwards of 500 bucks. I smashed my projectors with a lot of gaming and uh, sports so uh, there's a lot of hours that I put into the lamps so 500 bucks a year isn't very good. Yeah, 150 is a lot more attractive. Um, so in this video I'm showing you a few things. Uh, this room is in a back cave. There is a lot of light that comes in. It's midday. Um, to control the darkness of the room, you know, it's just turning off the lights, um, pulling down the blinds, um, shutting doors where I can, and you know, I'm still getting a great image. I've also uh, finished the uh, center speaker, as you can see there in the center there. Um, that's a KEF uh, CI5160 RL dash THX <laughs> speaker. So um, uh, it's an in wall speaker that I've made a, a cabinet for. So um, and it sounds pretty damn good. Movies are meant to be, you know, watched like this. It's just amazing. It makes you feel like you're watching a movie at a cinema or something like that. Um, I love Oblivion for its sound, so that's why I've got that playing at the moment. And um, although it's only the 1080p version, um, when my new Oppo 203 arrives, I'll definitely make a video of it in 4K, so um, you know you can see maybe the difference is I'll probably get a better camera and um, you know get up close and sort of do all that sort of thing. So uh, please subscribe if you want to see this and other videos in the future. Um, I've just finished making the 18-inch subwoofer, so I've got two of them but I've only finished making one, so um, that's gonna be coming up uh, soon in some videos, so um, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to watch the rest of this uh, video and um, you know, tell us, you know, ask, ask us any questions and tell us what you like and all that sort of thing. And you know, if you want a video made of something, you know, I'm more than willing to help. I've got a bit of time at the moment, so cheers. All right, thanks, bye. You're welcome. <laughs> One six six, back online. Come on, Papa. We're with me, you're ready.
Turn. Located 172. Got a sinkhole. No visual, but I can hear it. Tet so far off angle, I can barely see you. How's it look? That's good. That's good. There's no sign of scab activity on top. 